set myself a challenge to paint with gouache for 30 days. Some haters will say I failed and the haters will be right. <laughs> because I still haven't completed it. But this was not your average challenge. This journey has taken me over a year. It came with twists, it came with turns. It came with all manners of surprises. So I'll share with you my year plus long adventure diving into the world of gouache. And boy, has it been a journey. So let's go. Hey people, it's Temi if you're new here. So excited to be back. This is the longest break I've ever taken, but we are back. A few short months ago, cough cough, October 2022, I said, I've always wanted to do an Inktober style video, you know, where you have one challenge and for 30 days in a row, you have to post a drawing or painting or whatever. If I could go back to that time and knock the head of Temi, <laughs> because he asked me to do this. Little did I know what I was getting myself into, but I, I really learned a lot. And here is everything I was able to paint, starting off strong with this leaf from day one. If you watch the first video, you know the struggles that came with, but it quickly went downhill with the sun Set. blending gouache at this point was a miss now moving on to this lily i'm definitely getting somewhere with my blending but oh my gosh a moment for the eye a moment for miss hazel hughes this is when i started flopping with the whole 30 days thing because this painting took me like three four days but i was happy to take the time and i remember at the time thinking oh i hate how the skin is turning up it's looking muddy but i absolutely love this painting now by the way you can watch a process of every single one of these i've got shorts playlists i'll leave it down in the description box but we have have the butterfly that was a nice change so many people requested for a frog so i quickly did that and we have earth i really really like this one i tried to keep the color of the background peeking through but i couldn't achieve that now it was halloween time so it was still in october so i did the pumpkin and straight after that i wanted to do the moon because we've done the earth already by the way people ask where i get my inspiration from so for example for this coffee one i am a massive coffee fan so this was inevitable for me but most of all, it comes from suggestions from you guys. The Jelly Babies. <laughs> this is another one that still kind of takes my breath away till today. The translucency, the opacity. I don't know how I did this. <laughs> and you can probably tell I really tried to mix it up. So next I did this focused cat eye. I really wanted to practice keeping the background peeking through a little bit, but I'm not a big fan of this. Gouache dries matte, so having the shiny background isn't cute to me. But I can understand why people like it. This is probably one of my least favorites. It wasn't giving the rainy day vibe that I really wanted. This was inspired by my trip to Kenya. Love seeing those giraffes. The sunflower at the time, I really did not like it, but now it's one of my favorites. Now, can you tell we're at Christmas? I really wanted to do this out of focus Christmas tree capturing the baubles and the shine i love how it turned out next it was time to practice a portrait so who better than miss wednesday adams and at the time i did not like it but now looking back i absolutely love it it's so crazy how it sometimes takes you having to take a step back to look back at something and then you're like mm, this wasn't so bad now we're in new year's so this is new year 2023 i wanted to do these sparklers very quick and easy and zoom we're at valentine's i love these red roses i really love it when a painting feels like it's a snapshot of a real thing like it really fills the entire card wanted to practice painting water not 100 happy with that so i want to practice that again in the future and now we're at easter we've got these cute easter eggs a moment for these juicy oranges i remember at the time i did not like this painting and now just looking at this i cannot fathom and next we have this plain wing very much inspired by my personal travels from summer 2023 you won't believe i went to switzerland japan korea kenya again i captured so much out there bought so many new art supplies i cannot wait to share with you guys and now we're getting to the end i can definitely see my confidence increasing with each and every new one absolutely love these final ones they took me weeks and weeks to do and the final one the inverted r this is day 28 as you can see i'm not quite done but thank you so much for sticking with me I'm so happy with what I've been able to produce with gouache and I am genuinely shocked at some of these. At the start of the challenge, I would have never imagined being able to paint like this. So I'm glad I stretched myself. But I'll talk to you about everything I learned, the challenges I faced with having a painting challenge with like a duration set to it. So if you're a beginner with gouache, it will definitely help you with your journey. But I know most of you are just nosy. 
and you want to know why it took so long so i'll talk about that in a bit but first you guys have been asking me about prints i am so happy to say prints are finally live they are available you can get your hands on them it has been months and months and months and months in the making i'm not exaggerating when i say i poured my heart into this i took it myself to get the originals professionally scanned slash photographed not really sure what they do there i spent hours color correcting each one to make sure it closely matched the originals i ordered so many samples <laughs> Any samples and now I really feel like I have got it as close as possible to what I can see in person so each of the prints has the name the CMYK code which is a color code I assigned to each of them for the most prevalent color in that print it stands for cyan magenta yellow and black and you can definitely search those up what color I picked for each one and then on the back we have a corresponding quote and that's just in case you don't want to put it up on your wall and you want it for eye candy on your desk you can definitely flip that over and see the different quotes that match the different paintings. Now for the key pieces of information. Number one, the prints are now live so head over to shop.temidanto.com to browse and pre-order. I don't know when or how often they will be restocked so if your favourite is sold out don't say I didn't warn you. Some of the pre-order benefits include if you order by March the 10th you will have all of your prints signed by me. Limited edition stickers. I am so excited for the first time ever. I'll be giving away some of my most sought after portraits in sticker form, but these are extremely limited quantities. So you can add whichever one you want to the baskets when you're checking out. You also get free shipping if you order three or more. I have some pre-made bundles or you can mix and match whichever one you want. Or if you wanna see how far each painting came from sketch to final piece, if you pre-order, you get access to all of the sketches. And finally, you get 10% off in this pre-order period. If you do receive it, please share it with me on Instagram. I would love to see it. But back to the challenge, here are five things I learned doing this kind of challenge, like trying a new medium, using gouache specifically, and how I would approach this kind of challenge in the future. <laughs> Spoiler alert, I won't. <laughs> Maybe I'll have a change of heart, we'll see. Number one, gouache is a very forgiving medium. And what do I mean by that? I think because of the limited experience I have painting, compared to something like acrylics that dries too quick or oils that you need to sleep there, gouache is quite versatile. So you can really water it down like watercolor or you can go very thick and opaque and it reactivates. Now this many people see one way or the other as a plus or a negative, but I think it's so good it can be reactivated because you can come back and kind of lift a layer of something if you're not happy with it. There were sometimes weeks between my paintings and I used a palette you could close. This is my palette from day 28, if you know, you know. But because of that, it meant I just needed to spritz it with water and continue to use the paint. So pre-mixed colors, I could come back to it. It just makes it a much nicer experience. I'm not worried about the paint drying on me. I'm not worried about the final painting. So I might be jumping the gun, but this might be my new favorite painting medium. We'll see if I stick to that. <laughs> Number two, on a completely opposite note, gouache is so temperamental. It dries darker or lighter depending on the color and depending on how it feels. I think it's because it dries matte. So when you first apply it, there's a lot of reflection from the water, but when the water dries, then there's less white, there's less reflection. So then it goes darker sometimes, but then depending on the color, sometimes it's like, I don't, I don't get it. This one is still very trippy for me till today. <laughs> I'm still confused because think about it you mix the color you want you get a fantastic color and you're like hmm <laughs> shout out to me for this mix just for you to now apply it onto the painting and before you're done <laughs> it's already dry into a different color mm -mm. from someone with a color pencil background like myself where I literally just pick up the color I want to a bit of layering you know this or that even having to mix the actual shade I want each time is already a crazy concept. You can work in layers, but it's weird because you don't want the layer below to reactivate. So it's 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 actually a funny process. I don't know why I'm stuttering, <laughs> but it's, it's actually trippy. And I think one of the hardest paintings that I did in this series was the inverted art one, day 28. It was so difficult because in the inverse world, if you want to go lighter in real life, you're going darker. And so if something is drying lighter or darker or the opposite, it's, it was... <laughs> that one i don't know how i completed it but i was very happy with the outcome shout out to me this is what it looks like and this is it with the inverts number three don't announce to the internet <laughs> that you're doing a challenge for however long except you want the internet <laughs> to criticize you the entire journey of the challenge. Obviously, I'm mostly joking. Like, this is banter for me. Like, a lot of the comments, they'll be like, girl, you're still here. Yes, I'm still here. <laughs> yes, 
the 30 days is 30 months i'm still here one thing i'm really happy about this challenge was it just showed a very realistic take on doing a month-long daily painting thing because i'm not going to lie to you two years ago i said i don't believe in daily drawing and daily painting remember my tummy's hair aids and that stands true till today because the only way i would have completed this challenge and done each painting to the standard to the level of detail to the amount of learning to everything is if I did not leave my house for 30 days and 30 nights. If I did not eat for 30 days and 30 nights. If I did not sleep for 30 days and 30 nights. And honestly, shout out to the people that can do it. <laughs> Kudos to you. But for me, honestly, I think I could have done it quicker. Like it did not need to take me <laughs> a year and a bit. However, I was still living my life. I'm a baby girl. I had some work commitments that I needed to travel for. I did some traveling with my friends. I spent time with my friends. I spent time with my family. I started going to the gym, just a whole bunch of stuff to make me, you know, a well-rounded person, which meant I couldn't be painting every day and every night for 30 days and 30 nights. By the way, if you want to get updates on what I'm up to, to do with art, but sometimes outside of art, I have a newsletter that you can sign up to. Just go to my website, temmydanto.com. But yes and all, I could have done it quicker, definitely. But one thing I'm trying to show with my experience of this challenge is it's okay that it takes you longer than 30 days. It's okay. Not every day do you wake up motivated. Not every day do you wake up with creativity bursting out of you. And that leads on to my next one, number four. Imposter syndrome is real. Me as a professional artist, you might think, oh my gosh, like there's no way, da 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 da. Like look at what you're creating. But girl, boy. If I tell you I did not have imposter syndrome the entire journey of this challenge, I would be a liar. Imposter syndrome whooped <laughs> my behind. And that's because with each new day, I wanted to challenge myself with something else. Like sometimes I was taking suggestions from you guys and what I love the most about painting is being able to challenge myself, to problem solve. Like how do I achieve the opacity in this painting? How do I achieve shine? How do I achieve the reflections I want? How do I produce the blend? How do I get all the detail? That's what brings me joy. But that means getting to the start line hits me every single time. And I don't know if any of you other artists can relate, but it doesn't matter what I've been able to produce in the past, I'm still looking at this new challenge as something crazy and something completely new. And it's like, I can't do this. And it hits me every single time. So that's still a struggle I'm working on. I'm just reminding myself that, okay, let me just get to the next step. Let me just get, let me just get started. Let me do an hour of painting every day. And in reality, when you get into it, when you get past the ugly phase, because before the ugly phase, <laughs> you're literally thinking who do i think i am like people think i can paint i'm actually a fraud but once you get past the ugly phase it's looking it's looking sweet and now it's like you cannot get away from it that's the stage i love the most in the painting when it's really coming together and you're just doing the final touches to get it to get it to perfection so yes it doesn't matter how many pieces i produce i still look at the next one with an overwhelming amount of anxiety but i'm trying to push it to the side it's all about little steps each day. And hopefully you can produce something that you're proud of in the end. But you can never get there if you never get started on it. So pick up that pencil. If you've not drawn today, pick up that pencil, pick up that paintbrush. And now number five, there's no such thing as failing when it comes to art. And that might sound cheesy, but I started this video saying haters might say I failed. <laughs> But I truly believe I have not failed. Yes, I have not completed the challenge, but I'm sorry, it's a self-imposed challenge. <laughs> it's going to beat me. I have learned so much through the process. Yes, it's had its challenges, but I have enjoyed actively challenging myself with each painting. At the start of the challenge, I would have never imagined that I'd be able to paint in the way that I have, and I have truly surprised myself. So I hope this encourages you to also try new mediums, to try mediums that you're not very familiar with, I used one of the worst qualities of gouache, no offense <laughs> to the jelly gouache, but I wanna try gouache again, actually using professional grade gouache. I wanna try it again on the proper surface, not these Pantone cards. There's so much that I want to explore still, but I hope this encourages you to try something new. If I was gonna do this kind of challenge again in the future, and if you wanna do this kind of challenge, you need to plan, 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 plan. Firstly, don't come and die for 30 days. If you can't do it within 30 days, I hope I can be the example to let you know to take as long as you need. As long as you don't have an actual like pressing deadline and take as long as you need. But also I'm so happy for all of you guys that have joined me on this journey. You guys 
guys have loved me sharing this challenge across my different social media platforms and I'm so happy for you guys that have joined me. Now some people think all I do is gouache, please. I'm still a colour pencil babe, okay? But one thing about me and my channel is I love trying new things. I love experimenting with different mediums. I love the struggle phase of how does this work and then actually get into a final piece that you're proud of at the end. That's that's one of my favourite things. So that's it. We are at the end. We are nearly at the end of this challenge. I still have two days to go so keep an eye out for those shorts. But thank you for joining me. I cannot wait for you to have your Pantone prints in your hands. By the way, this collection is called my Petite Paintings. I'm sure you will love them as much as I do. Thanks for being here. I hope this encourages you to pick up your paintbrush and draw. Now you're gonna wanna check out the first video in the series where I decided to embark on this challenge for the first time.